Right, I've just taken delivery of this Dyson Ball DC15 Animal, which I just bought on eBay. The seller said it was brand new, factory sealed. Despite the fact this model has been discontinued, it's now 2012, um, January 2012. I know it's been discontinued a while. Um, so I was a bit dubious about whether it was factory sealed, brand new and the seller didn't have many feedbacks so I paid by PayPal in case there was any problems but so far apart from the box being a bit mucky it was sealed, it had two Dyson seals here and it definitely hasn't been taped up so first impressions on unboxing are good I've had a Dyson ball before, just a regular all floors model, and it was packed in a similar way. So there we have the the wand. Take this cardboard out. Here we have. So oops, there we are. The rest of the cleaner. Ah, and what I'm quite pleased about is this model, my one, didn't have a see-through, the one I had before, didn't have a see-through cleaner head. There we are. But this one has got the, the clear head so you can see if there's any blockages. Not sure I'm keen on the the purple colour of the animal, but it's a it's a ball, and I do regret. I did, as I say, I had the original all floors version, and I regret selling that because I did. Out of all the Dyson machines I've owned, I did like the ball cleaner, the DC15. And in there we have the, the ridiculously large turbine head, which is now being replaced by a much more handy, smaller sized version. So there we have it. All in all, I'm pleased, not switched it on yet, but that definitely is a fresh from the factory model. The three, three small cleaning tools, spare tool, crevice nozzle, dusting brush, trouble is having a nice clear cleaning head that's going to soon not look quite so nice, the same as the bin after a couple of uses, the nice see-through bin will not look quite so see-through. So I'm wondering whether just to purchase to keep this nice, if I can get another one, that's that's all for the good. Just keep one in in spare. So when that does look completely uh, scratched, I can put a new one on. But anyway, there we are. I'll just pause for a moment and assemble the machine. Well, here we have the. Dyson ball, freshly unboxed. Now we get the literature that you get with it. You get the uh, quick start guide, which is attached to the handle, just to show you how to assemble it. You get a little booklet, the story of Dyson. Um, of course, the instruction book with some braille on. Um, now I don't know what that says. I don't know why it's got just braille there because obviously um, unless it's saying to a blind or partially sighted person you can obtain a full braille version of this book I don't know but they've put it there so they've obviously thought thought of people um, who don't have full vision there's a 
Her Dyson uh, registration guarantee and the guarantee there, which I'm going to do online, and hopefully they will accept an eBay seller. But this is definitely brand new. There's no no doubt that it's not refurbished, not used at all. Here we have the turbine head. It's a very heavy item. I do like the idea of being able to turn off the head here by is it pulling or pushing? It's a while since I've had it. Oh yeah, off. Off is in and on is out. And there we have the turbine head and here we have the beast in all its glory. We have the uh, brush roll with the independent motor. Of course the main suction motor is located inside the ball here and here under the canister we have the built-in lifetime HEPA filter which isn't supposed to be replaced. And of course we have the bin itself. And uh, three tools on board, dusting brush, stair nozzle, and on the side we have the crevice nozzle, which I believe, yes, I'm not keen on these Dyson crevice nozzles because there's a great big hole in them there. There are obviously reasons for that. Up here we have the brush bar, on off control, and the mains switch. We have the release switch there to release the wand. And behind, of course, we've got the, the cord wrapped around the back with the little cord securage, what you call it, which not all manufacturers provide. And it's a useful little thing to have that secures the cord together so it doesn't fall fall all over the place when you're carrying the machine. And it's quite a it's a quite a heavy machine, but I don't think it's as heavy as the Miele S7. There's a carry handle. I think it's slightly lighter. Whoops, I've zoomed in by mistake. There we go. Let's just have a look at the mechanism here at the bottom, which I've done away with completely now on the brand new is it the DC41, is it? But there's none of that. Well, I think there is, yes, there's still a mechanism, but it's um, there's no need to press, press down with your foot. First impressions, not quite as manoeuvrable as the Milo S7. Despite the ball, the Milo S7 has a swivel neck. But what I'm going to do, I'll give it a bit of a test run. But I think what I remember doing with my other Dyson, my All Floors model, which was the one with the yellow uh, cyclone top. Mm. I did block up the large debris nozzle thingy bob. It's a channel, that's it, the large debris channel. Let me just uh, show you it if I carefully. Let's, let's look at the carpet for a minute. We could look at my dog there, Rupert. Underneath, which is lovely chrome base plate. But, I don't know if you can just catch it there, I'll just try and put it in the light a bit, a bit more. Here is the large debris channel, which is supposed to pick up large particles before they get to the brush bar. But I found the performance of the machine greatly improved with this little hole blocked up, which I did with some uh, 
thick card made a little bung and popped it in and it stayed in place the whole time I had it so um, I'll be doing that but it's a nice brush roll uh, it's a good design Dysons have been criticised for their wimpy some people have called them wimpy brush rolls but they're nice nice stiff bristles and it does a good job it doesn't get that close to the edge if we see here there's still quite a gap and you see the ball underneath I'm really pleased to have um, a DC-15 back now I should not have sold the first one but I did need the money at the time and I think I got uh, more or less what I paid for it so that's the, the cleaner head in the operating position and then this rather complicated gubbins comes into effect when you put it in the upright position and it diverts the suction from the cleaning head that's now blocked off no suction going through to the cleaning head and it diverts the suction through the hose this comes off if you get a, a blockage it's a bit easier to see inside and to gain access but if you look after your Dyson properly and don't pick up things that are too big it shouldn't become clogged I've never had a vacuum that I've clogged and if you look after things they last longer now up here take off the take off the flex and we can release the wand I believe the DC25 has a bit of a better wand arrangement than this I've never really liked the, the tool set up on a Dyson uh, oops still Obviously it's brand new and still quite uh, quite stiff, who were misses. But um, I will probably use it more. I don't tend to use the hose with the, the tube. I'm cleaning, cleaning stairs or anything. I normally put the tool directly onto the end here. You can get an extension hose, which I will be purchasing, which just takes the Dyson a bit further up the stairs and that's that that's the hose down like that a bit like the Miele S7 when you take the tools off but the, on the Miele S7 it actually locks down in place until I mean there is a click noise there but it's not actually locked in that position but in theory that means you can pull the Dyson along and it shouldn't topple over because obviously the hose is low down which is one failing of SIBO upright CX series with the hose coming out the top and a very short hose at that so if you're listening SIBO redesign your uprights they've been very popular and successful but I think it's time that they had a rethink but it's very complicated looking but I've renewed my interest in Dyson now. I'm going to have a good, good go of my house. I haven't vacuumed for a couple of days, so we should see a bit of a mess. Um, and then I'll block up the large debris channel. Well, one thing I haven't had a look at, which you may be interested in, is the filter that you should wash. I think they say every six months, but I tend to do it a bit more frequently than that. I'll probably do it every three months. Here we have it's just a, a de high density foam. Just rinse that under water, squeeze it, leave it to dry, and this part you just rinse as well. And you can see the cyclones in there. It's obviously old technology now. There are new, new cycling versions. What's well, radial root cyclone? I think Dyson called their latest. And one reason I decided to get another Dyson after selling all the models I had 
because they are what I think about Dyson's, they're very noisy. This machine wasn't too bad, I seem to remember, for noise. And I believe their new cylinder models, the new ball cylinder models, are supposed to be engineered for low noise. So I'm quite tempted by the animal version of the new cylinder. I might, might get that. What I do like about the Dyson, the best part, and what I missed most about the Dysons, is the dusting tool. That uh, not that one you get provided, but they do a a soft dusting tool, a long one with a with a red pad underneath. That is absolutely fantastic for all general dusting, TV screens, hi-fis, shelves, and I have lots of Venetian blinds. You can see a bit of a view there of uh, I'm in a brand new house, so there's new houses being built out the back there, well, out the front. But I have uh, these Venetian blinds everywhere and um, they're a bugger to keep clean, especially when they're white colour. So I have got, um, which I bought for a bargain price somewhere, um, a Dyson cleanup kit which includes the uh, long crevice tool with a flexible end, and the dusting brush, stub and dirt tool, and the mattress nozzle I believe, and a handy tool bag to keep them all in. So the only thing I'm going to buy for this is an extension hose just so I can uh, reach high and low without uh, any effort. So that's it, that's my new Dyson Ball DC-15 Animal. And uh, that's all for now. So from me to you from Dyson, I'm going to have a little go of this and see if it really is as good as I remembered.